Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make two recipes for my brand new book, The Pantry Laid Bare. I'm going to show you how to feed the sourdough starter and I'm going to show you how to make sourdough waffles. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant style meals, comfort foods and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. Look how many starters I have guys. The first one I made was in 2015. Then the second one was in 2017, and then another one in 2017, and then number four was made in 2018, but this one doesn't make the bread so good, so I've saved it for waffles. And then this one I made during the pandemic, right at the start of the shutdown. See, 32220. Let's open this one first. This dirty water looking stuff on the top of it is called hooch, and as long as it smells good like wine, it's good, all right? If it smells putrid like vomit, throw it away. I'm trying to get it open because some of them will release a, a gas sound like when you open soda. Oh, this one didn't do it. Listen. Did you hear it from that one just now? It was kind of faint. So let me go ahead and stir the starter up and then pour out about half. Just eyeball it. And then now I'm going to put half a cup of all-purpose flour and half a cup of filtered water. doesn't have to be distilled. Filtered, okay? Mix it up into a paste like when you used to make kite. And then pour it back into the jar. I'm doing the one from 2020. This is half a cup of flour and half a cup of filtered water. And again, it's all-purpose flour. Look at my bowl because I did all the other ones. I haven't thrown away any of the starter because I want to try to make a loaf of bread out of the starter that's blended and see how it'll taste. So you can do it this way too, pour the rest of the starter into the measuring cup, mix it up well and then pour it back in. You can also wash your jar out. Always wipe off the mouth part because it'll make it easier to close, okay? No, this is the one for waffles. I didn't throw this away because the flavor is so good, but I've never gotten a good loaf out of it. So now pour out half. Well, I'm going to pour out a cup because that's for the waffles. I'm going to make the mother half cup of all-purpose flour, half cup of filtered water, and then mix it up with the leftovers. Pour it back into the jar. Pay no mind to Joe. <laughs> hey, people. He's outside fixing the fence. A hundred and how much? Forty-seven dollars for some two by four, some hinges, right? Yeah. And what else? The, the paling? Yes, twenty-six pieces of paling. Oh my God! It's not even gonna make a dent in what the winds did yesterday, guys. But I'm so impressed. <laughs> okay, baby, you can leave out the door. The winds are still blowing. I might, I might take the camera out there. Okay, on me, like on the says on me. According to my book, The Pantry Laid Bear, this is sourdough waffles, the half recipe, because I don't want a whole lot. So here is a cup of the starter from the starter that I showed you guys just now when I fed the starters. So you know what I'm gonna have to do now? I'm gonna have to make another starter just to show the people how to do the starter, because somebody's gonna come and ask me, how do you do the starter? The flour. Just dump everything in. Sugar, not a whole lot. Not doing the salt. Why? Because I use salted butter. But in the book it said unsalted butter, so then you would put the salt. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and melt this in the microwave for like 10 seconds or so. And then we're going to come back and add the rest of the ingredients. So recently I've been getting a lot of questions about what is the difference between this book and this book. This book, Beans and Rice Volume 2, has 120 authentic Belizean dishes, while this book, The Pantry Laid Bear, has 111 of the best dishes that I've done on the show. To find out how to purchase, just check in the video description below. And remember, there's no link. It's just information. I tell you the different payment methods. I tell you the shipping. You still have to come back and let me know which book you want, how many of it, and then you have to tell me where to ship it. Thanks, guys. Thanks for picking up your books, guys. So this recipe uses one egg. And even though I'm selling the books, I'm still trying to write the recipes in the video below. If you don't see it at the time the video releases, I go back and write it a few hours later, okay? So the butter's melted. 
I'm going to put the butter on this one side just in case it's still a little bit too warm to mix with the egg. And then put the egg on the other side. And then the milk. And give this a stir. I've tried this recipe with water too instead of the milk and it still came out great, okay? But I'm using lactose free milk. Clean off the waffle iron because we haven't used it in a minute. And I usually brush some butter on the bottom and on the top, but not too much. I don't really even think it needs it because the waffle iron is still decent, but it does give it a nice flavor. So now let's start measuring. And if you notice, my batter is kind of thin. If you go back and you make the batter too thick, the waffles are not going to be solid all the way through for some reason when it comes to the sourdough stuff. So I hold it here for a second or two because the batter is so thin. Then I flip it and I just let it do its thing. If you've been a follower of the show for some time, you may have picked up this book from Amazon or you may have picked up this book directly from me. They're basically the same book except for this one. The spine is different and it has color pictures on the inside. And I collected all the profits off of the sale of this book. This book, however, that's being sold by Amazon and my ex-distributor, I don't make any money from it. So I want you guys to not pick up that book anymore and only pick up this one directly from me. The information is listed below every one of my videos on how you can purchase, all right? Take a look at this right here. Now, I don't want to tell you guys what to do, but for me, because me and Joe like it a little bit more crispy, we're going to go ahead and just bake it a little while longer before we do the other one. And as you can tell from this little bit of batter, I'm just going to get two like that. Joe's going to eat half of that one and I'll eat the other half and we'll put up this one or if Jada wants it because we try not to eat the whole thing you know calories and carbs all that good stuff so if you want to make regular waffle that's not sourdough waffle that's also in the book the pantry laid bear on page five it's called crispy waffles but keep in mind that when you do the eggs you're going to have to beat the egg white separately to make it fluffy to make the waffles crispy while this you don't have to do nothing just throw everything in a bowl right you don't even have to proof the starter Throw everything in a bowl and just bake it and you'll have crispy waffles. So I'm telling you guys, make your sourdough starter. This video was just about feeding my starters and making the half the waffle recipe. But I'm also going to teach you guys how to make a starter and I have to probably start tomorrow. Because it's fall now, it might take a little while longer than if we did it in the summer. So I'm going to have another starter, guys. Oh my goodness. So check out my sourdough um, chapter in the book, alright? I'll be back when it's ready to bake this one. So let's make the last one. That's why I wanted to include this half recipe in the book because if you live alone or it's only you and your honey, you don't have to have a lot of leftover waffles. And if you don't put butter on them, you can actually toast them the next day and they'll be crispy again, all right? Now here they are, guys. All right, guys, let's taste. See how crispy it is? Dip it in a little bit of the syrup. I put a slab of butter, as you can see from the picture. Mm. The reason I never got rid of that starter, even though it doesn't do a loaf of bread real well, is because... Do I watch the dog with my camera, please? Let the dog in and my camera's right here. It's because it tastes so flavorful with the waffles. Uh-huh. Don't forget to like subscribe, comment, and share. Mm. If you're at Facebook, make sure you follow. Do you want to come taste it? Let me put a little piece in your mouth. Come on, boo. Come, boo. I'm just going to pop it in your mouth. <coughs> you messed up my ending. <coughs> you messed up my ending, guys. You messed up my ending. Okay. You don't need your hand. I will spoon feed you. <laughs> you like it? Do you like my sourdough waffles? No. You know, I, I don't know if you like sourdough waffles. It's good, it's good. You like both though, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's Jada that doesn't like sourdough waffles. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, it's she good. likes sourdough bread and stuff, but not the waffles. But this, these are good. These are good. All right. Joe and I are going to go eat. And we'll see you guys again in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye, people. Remember, guys, we are not buying this book.
because if you do the only people that are making money from that book are my ex distributor and Amazon pick up this book instead this is my Belizean cookbook it has hundred and twenty authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time hot off the presses this is my second cookbook guys it's called the pantry laid bare and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book all right a hundred and eleven delicious dishes from basic ingredients to purchase just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping thanks guys